started very slowly, like we noticed a piece or two torn off, right? And then, uh, and then uh, it just got gradually worse. It's a fence that leadership at Thunderbird House had hoped they would not have to erect, but now that rampant copper theft has scarred the sacred building's roof, leadership says their hand has been forced. And final now, it's really disrespectful of a, of a place that is representative of the sort of heart of Indigenous spirituality. You know what I mean? So it's just hard to fathom sometimes and, and accept. But Damon Johnston is co-chair of Thunderbird House, an Indigenous cultural hub in downtown Winnipeg. And he says since August, numerous pieces of copper have been removed from the structure's roof, causing visible damage. Police have been notified about the thefts, but for Johnston, he says the theft is a sign of socioeconomic issues facing the city. They're hurting and you get mental health and addictions and sometimes they're, they're combined, right? Uh, Coexisting conditions and so people lose their way. He's asking for the people responsible to take a step back and think about what they're doing as he doesn't think it's regular community members who are committing the act. They were organized, they knew what they were doing and uh, it, you know it's a shame because uh, that's a very special place to most of us. Johnson says Thunderbird House is working closely with police to try and get the theft under control. Meantime, for those who scrap and sell copper in the city, like Finnegan Klein, he says the theft is something the community frowns upon. That's a sacred, sacred like temple for native, native, native culture, and they shouldn't have done that. That's that's wrong. For Johnston, he says while the theft has been hurting the center, as it's costly and expensive to fix, he says he doesn't have any ill will towards those responsible. It's it's a physical structure; it can be repaired. Uh, human beings are more important, and so the bigger part of our journey will be focused on. Uh, working with the, the part of our community that's hurting. There are several places in Winnipeg where one can sell the valuable material. And leadership at Thunderbird House is asking anyone with information on who is stealing the copper or buying it to come forward. But not so they can offer discipline, but instead offer a helping hand. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.